University, one of the first and most important things that we try to pass on to students is a sense of adventure. We live in a culture that preaches security and comfort. Security and comfort may have its place, but it also can lead a lot of us into living a life that doesn't really fulfill us. We go to jobs that don't excite us or challenge us. We may keep relationships that feel safe instead of ones that help us evolve. In our personal growth, often it becomes easiest to just kind of make it through each day. And that is not the way any of us are supposed to be living. We can seize life, enjoy it immensely, but we need to claim that sense of adventure. Today I will be sharing some principles and some body hacks, some mind hacks, and some culture hacks to help us rediscover that sense of adventure that is inside all of us. Principle number one. It's a pretty easy one. Challenge ourselves every day. If we let a day go by where we don't seek out and find some sort of challenge, it's a day that hasn't really been lived. So what is it that you find challenging? Seek those things out and tread into some uncomfortable territory. This might be having a conversation with somebody that you usually avoid. It might be going into an emotional state that usually you try to push back and repress. It might be going for a hike in that place that you've always been looking at when you drive by it in the car, but you've never made the effort to actually go there. Find at least one challenge every day and rise up to meet it. How about that comfort that our culture preaches, right? Have the perfect bed, the perfect pillow. There's something about discomfort, going into discomfort, that can start to wake us up. I know, this one can throw a lot of people off, right? Because I don't want to be cold, I don't want to experience any pain, I don't want to experience any mental distress. But if we find that borderland of the thing that we call uncomfortable, and just step a little bit past it, often there's amazing things waiting for us there. Another benefit of going further into discomfort is that it allows us, especially if we're outdoorsy, right, to get out here and to get into situations that otherwise we'd be afraid of getting into. You know, I've spent so many nights because I foolishly brought nothing to sleep with where I'm just huddled up, freezing, pacing back and forth, doing jumping jacks, trying to keep myself warm. Those nights were uncomfortable, yes, but they're also the nights that I remember and treasure, even if I look like a complete fool during the whole night. Exploring discomfort really is a sort of a mind hack and a body hack. Uh, if you've seen my cold conditioning video, we can learn to become comfortable in temperatures that otherwise we thought, uh, don't want to go there. It's not just with cold that we can do that. We can do that across the board in our life. Foods that we eat, the people we interact with, the nature experiences that we're willing to go into. Here's one most of us will enjoy. Increase our skill set. All of us have more to learn. And there's so much to learn in in this realm, right? So when I get outdoors, if I think that I'm really good at starting fires, okay, let's try starting it in the pouring rain. Let's try starting one in the middle of the night when I can't see anything. You could think of skills as entrances or doorways into new realms of adventure because every skill allows me to shed something out of this pack and instead to try to do it 
by my own means or using natural materials. And that leads to some really exciting stuff. Okay, so by now some of you might be thinking, well, you know, where's the real adventure? Where's rafting down this impossible river, climbing Mount Everest? That is for some people. But what I'm talking about here is creating a sense of adventure that fills every moment of your life. And this means that when I'm out at a restaurant, right, and I look at a menu, I'm gonna order something that looks a little sketchy to me, right? Uh, chicken feet. Okay, let's give it a try. A friend of mine, a client of mine, client and friend, uh, recently started approaching people and he was very shy and he started going up to people and talking to them. Strangers, homeless people, businessman, businesswoman, really attractive person that otherwise would have been way too scary to approach. There you go, finding adventure in every moment of your life. So adventure does not have to be putting on a pack and going out on an overnight. You can get adventure right in your own kitchen, right? It really can happen. Try cooking something that you don't think you can cook. See what happens. All right, this one might seem funny to some people, but dress the part. You know, in our culture, we wear uniforms all the time. Police officers wear uniforms, military personnel. A lot of us, when we go to work, we wear a uniform. The things that we wear can have a psychological power to put us into a new mindset. So if you dress up in your buckskins or cloak or your camo clothes, whatever it is, maybe a, a, a talisman or something that puts you into that mood, put it on, go out and allow that to work its psychological magic. You might just find, if you dress the part, that you do a little more exploring than you otherwise would. Okay, I'm gonna go kind of deep for this one. This is a culture hack, which means we're looking at our culture with rewilded eyes and seeing it for what it really is. And here's the thing, if any of you have ever role played Dungeons and Dragons, any of those games, you become a persona. You play by certain rules, right? And that's what makes the game fun. If you look, again, with the eyes of an animal, the eyes of an alien, at our culture, all of us are doing a lot of role playing. I might have one role at home where I play the role of a father if I go into a, a factory and I'm the foreman there, I put on a uniform and I take on another role and people act according to that role, right? So the people below me at the factory would, would answer to me and, and consider me to be an authority. So you can utilize that if you start to realize that you don't have to just play roles on autopilot because our culture has said that's the way it needs to be done. You can consciously role play and have some fun with that. So, you know, going back to to D and D, let's say you're a Lord of the Rings fan, right? And you really love the elves. Go out in the woods, become an elf. Just see what happens. You're gonna have fun with it. Again, that gets us out and gives us a new perspective. Because if we go out into the woods in the mind of uh, 
factory farm and it's not going to be that fun. So become a ranger and try it out. I know, again, it might seem like, what? Are you asking me to go out in the woods and, and pretend and, and have sword fights with, with pretend orcs? <laughs> if you want, go for it. The key is to realize that if you feel funny doing that, why don't we feel funny when we go and we role play in our culture? Dressing up in uniforms and taking on the form of a, a waiter, for instance, right? When we play that role, that's just playing too. So use it to your advantage. See what happens. So the final one I'll share today is what I call 30 feet off the path. And what this is, is this, this came to me uh, last summer. I was sleeping in my comfortable bed next to my beautiful wife. And I suddenly realized that less than 100 feet away from me, there was this pond with spring fed icy water and weeds growing in there. And I realized that I could get up out of my bed I could walk out there and swim across that pond. And that experience, that super intense experience of going through that cold water in the middle of the night with the sea, with the weeds just, you know, all over my body, that intense experience was a hundred feet away from me, just sitting there waiting. The only reason it wasn't happening is because I didn't get out of bed. And the key is that if we start looking even just 30 feet out from our regular pathways in life and start to explore things that look a little curious, we might be surprised at what we find. I've found caves that are just paces off of, of a path that I've always walked. It might be climbing that tree over there and seeing what's in that, that crook there. It might be heading over there and seeing what's over the ridge, right? Adventures are waiting for us right off of the beaten path. And this is in nature, and it's also in, in our regular lives, and it's also in things like urban exploring. There are ruins across the planet of human habitation. And I mean ruins from old castles to abandoned factories, abandoned cities. There's so much adventure to be had out there. And it doesn't matter whether you decide you want to go climb Everest or you're going to try to cook a, a Thai meal in your kitchen that looks way too complicated but makes you really curious. Adventure is everywhere. If we start shifting into adventure mode and having that as our key mindset. The more we do this, the more we will wake up every single morning totally excited about life. Because in our relationships, at our work, which will become our play, when we head off into the woods, whatever we're doing, that sense of adventure will accompany us. Adventure on. <laughs>